Halo, namaku Esther dari ISTTS. At present, the development of machine learning is gaining popularity in various fields, with expectations to facilitate all human tasks. LangChain is a library that can connect the necessary components for utilizing a large language model, LLM. By using LangChain, we can construct a prompt template, which we can then process on the language model, and determine the action to be executed based on the prompt using agents. In addition, LangChain features memory capability to store previous prompts and responses. Now, we will create a function to determine whether a sentiment is positive or negative. We will leverage LangChain to form the prompt template and will use Google's language model, namely Flan T5XXL. We will also deploy our function on Google Cloud using Cloud Function, allowing us to send requests via an endpoint that will subsequently return results in the form of a response. For an explanation on how to use LangChain, you can refer to my previous Medium article. Preparation 1. Google Cloud Platform Account 2. Python Function Creating a Cloud Function Begin by opening the Cloud Function page on the Google Cloud Console and click Create Function. This will open the Create Function page. In the Environment section, select First Gen Fill in the function name with your function's name. Remember, the function's name cannot contain spaces. Then, select the region where you wish to run the function. In the Trigger section, make sure to select HT as we will carry out sentiment analysis via an endpoint provided by Cloud Function and make requests using Postman. After choosing HTTP as your trigger type, a URL will appear, which will be the endpoint of our function. In the Authentication section, select Allow Unauthenticated Invocations so the endpoint can be publicly accessed. Lastly, check the Require HTTPS box. Once finished, click the Save button and continue to the next process by pressing the Next button. This will open the code page. Here, we will configure and insert the code of the function we want to run in the cloud function. In the runtime section, select Python 3.10, and in the source code section, choose inline editor. This option allows us to write the function directly on the code editor provided in cloud function. We are provided with two files, requirements.txt for placing the needed dependencies packages and main.py for the function we will run. Click on requirements.txt and place the three packages below. These packages will be imported into the function later. Moving to the main.py file, this is where we will perform the function to be run. At the top is an entry point field, which serves to determine which function will be executed first when a trigger request occurs. We can replace it with the name of the function we want. For this case, we will name it analysis. Place the following code in the main.py file. In the above code, we will provide input in the form of sentiment text by sending a form request named sentiment. This text will be unified into a prompt that will be processed on Google's language model, Flan T5XXL. This function will return a result indicating whether the sentiment is positive or negative. Replace the your underscore hugging face underscore API underscore token section with your hugging face API token. Once done, click deploy to deploy our function on cloud function. Afterwards, our function will appear on the function list page. Wait until the deployment process is completed, marked by a green check next to the function name. Let's try to create a request using Postman via the endpoint of the function we have deployed. To see the endpoint address, we can click on the function name and then go to the trigger section through the navigation at the top. Open the Postman application, then create a new request that points to the trigger endpoint.